The government has a plan to change the way you drive. On Tuesday, the National Transportation Safety Board called, called on all states to make texting, emailing, or talking on a cell phone illegal while driving. Right now, 35 states and the District of Columbia ban texting while driving. Nine states and D.C. bar the use of handheld cell phones by drivers. And 30 states ban all cell phone use for beginning drivers. Joining us now is former NTSB Chairman Mark Rosenker. He's a CBS News Transportation Safety Consultant. He does not speak French, as far as we know. Bonjour. Uh, but, um, but, <laughs> but you do know about all things transportation. Um, this is clearly a radical suggestion, Mark. You call it a noble cause. Can it happen? Oh, certainly it can happen. Um, but there may well be technological advances that actually negate the, the need for something like this. Like? Well, for example, the NTSB asked the manufacturers of uh, the consumer electronic product and the cellular telephone industry to create some applications which in fact would disable the, uh, the device mm -hmm. while the driver is moving. That can happen. But also, I think the board really missed the boat with an opportunity to really advance uh, highway safety by not only uh, requiring, for example, the banning, if you will, of the cell phone use, but to have required the manufacturers of automobiles to put in frontal collision avoidance technology, which means not only did you not necessarily have to worry about the cell phone being a distraction, but any other distraction might have also been covered. For example, a coffee falling mm -hmm. in your lap, for example. The car would sense as it approaches uh, another car uh, a, a, an imminent collision, and at that point, it would apply the brake. Yeah, during the break, we were talking about the fact that this isn't the only distraction in a car. I mean, you could be in an argument with the person next to you, the kids are in the back seat, there's an animal. How significant of a difference is the threat of dealing with a cell phone, texting, emailing, versus these other more common things that have been around for years ever since the car first hit the road? Well, we've always known that distractions existed. Uh, in this particular case, though, we know, for example, that 3,000 people died last year. 900,000 people were in accidents as a result of distracted driving. So something needed to be done, and that's why the board, after they investigated this Missouri accident, decided to really take a very, very giant step toward eliminating distracted driving as a result, as a result in uh, uh, cell phone use. You think if all this stuff gets implemented, if it does, it would take decades? I believe it's going to be a long haul, a very heavy lift. Okay. It has now left the NTSB and has been now put in the laps of the 50 state legislatures. When you get into the legislative process, it becomes a political process. Yeah. And at that point, the user community will come out in droves if they want to continue to use their cell phones. Hard enough to get them to agree on the budget try cell phone. <laughs> exactly. Mark Rosenker, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're good to be foreign languages in the meantime.